When you talk about dreaming, that these are stories and the secrets of creation that are being passed from, to is it right, from totem to totem, going from the ocean to the land and then it, all the way through to the humans? And It, it is. As I said, we, we do have, a, as I said, a dream time uh, practice. And the dream time practice is the creation of our song lines. Our song lines are meaning our connection to country, connection to waterways. Um, oh, okay. We also got uh, corroborees. We also got stories. So it's, it's it's all about our stories. So we've got to tell the stories. It is. But song line, creative. Like we've got spiritual creation as well. We, we've got uh, you know didgeridoos. You know we played some some cultures play the didgeridoo in, in, up in the north. But also we've got uh, waterways. We, we've got scarred trees. So we've got sacred trees. But right. we also got markings on. On rocks and you know so so and that all the markings are part of our our story but part of the history but also part of not not just the history it, it's the part of the whole of Aboriginal people yeah. where, where we're actually from and who we really are and uh, as I said I always say sometimes pictures tell us a thousand stories or elves tell yeah. many stories so and that's where the Kulabadi comes from it means many stories in our Noongar that's language. and the stories. I don't know, as a kid for me, is why I gravitated to different cultures because of the stories, even to religious practices. I'm not, um, you know, I was brought up a Catholic, but I was more drawn to the stories, the stories we were told. My grandfather was a storyteller who passed down a lot of his stories to me. Well, you're a very important person because your grandfather had that rights to tell that's the right. story. So that's where my father's the same. He's yeah. He's got the rights always in the story person. Do you believe every family has a, a, a person in there that's sort of chosen to bring down the stories? Uh, there is. There's, a, there's always chosen. Yeah. And, and as I said, through my history with my father, you know, what I've been told by my elders, they're chosen at birth. Yeah. So, so you're chosen. If you're going to be, you know, the storyteller or the gatekeeper or, you know, the know the history not just the history of our people but more the history of everyone around the world yeah so you are chosen in the family and uh, every aboriginal group or tribe has people yeah. that are the storytellers or as they say they're they're the the law people you know. but you know phil here, here you are as a youngster right getting told these culturally rich stories by your dad how old were you the f when you realised the first stories that were coming from your dad? Well, th th this is, uh, you know, and people who listen to this podcast, Wayne, will say, well, because a lot of our Aboriginal people, are, we've ta taught, you know, we're educated from a young age, yeah. coming through the system, and, you know, and you know, we do have law systems in place for men and women. But my father actually separated when I was only four or five, so I didn't sure. really get to to experience you know the culture in, in at that early age sure but so when i got to about probably 25 that's when my dad then taught me and and educated me on my culture so he took me out to do my law and right. uh, you know took me out to, to country to understand uh, you know the sacred sites but also understand the, the story but not the story about now the story about the beginning the beginning of the creation of our people so